Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. So my goodness, we had a bit of a insipid day yesterday. Um, insipid, um, I had to look that up actually. Um, lack of vigor. Um, just kind of, um, we, we just struggled yesterday with price action and volume. We just couldn't seem to get it going. And I think it was really nothing more than just we needed a rest after the party, the big bullish party the day before. Now, this morning, we're looking at a very different situation. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up and get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, we see that the bears are acting up uh, just a little bit this morning. And I, I have been kind of um, talking about that caution to be careful as we continue to stretch up here to um, be watchful of that possibility of some pretty painful pullbacks because we have been, uh, these point moves are substantial. And this morning we're seeing that right now Dow futures are showing down 270 um, this morning, looking at that move down. However, that said, we're still holding this trend. And that's kind of what I've been pointing out is that although we're holding this bullish trend, any pullback to test the trend or test support could be pretty painful in the in its move and if you were chasing into stocks that were already extended how painful that could be so this morning we've got this little bit of a pullback now the question becomes will we hold support right through here and we certainly could um, what, what we have seen lately um, quite a bit of evidence of this lately anytime we pull back the buy the dip crowd rushes in to um, to uh, stall any any selling and the bears just don't have enough teeth to push on through will that be the case today well we'll have to wait and see as we test some of these price support levels also note that if we were to miss or slip below this level it could be a really painful pullback pulling us back into here um, in that level, but notice that that would still hold this upside trend. So although we may still hold trend, we may still remain in that bullish upside trend. Could be kind of a painful pullback if those bears do have the energy. We'll see. I don't know um, how this will play out. Just um, it was just that caution yesterday to be careful not to chase because of that possibility um, existing. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY managed to squeak out a new record high yesterday. Even though that price action, we continue to see that volume kind of drifting down. Um, the price action was, again, very insipid. It just did, it didn't have any vigor. There was no, uh, we just needed a rest, uh, kind of like we were all recovering from that bullish hangover. And as you can see right here, we're holding um, onto this trend. And although that pullback um, is coming back into a price support level, if that that does not hold there then we could easily slip back into here now the difference here on the spy is that we we've got such a, a extension in this upside move that if we were to slip down through here we run that possibility of breaking this trend now I'm not, I'm not gonna say that we're gonna break it and hold that break but we run that higher probability of a potential price break because of uh, that stretch that we're in here we'll just want to watch that pretty closely if we can hold in here if those bulls can maintain if that buy the dip crowd comes in and we hold off of here then absolutely no harm no foul and if we push down into here and hold off of this area in here bounce up we might get a tail or something through that area but push back up again no harm no foul the bulls will maintain that control but we're going to want to watch that pretty carefully just in case those bears do maybe they've sharpened their teeth up and they're ready to eat a little bit um, you never know so watch that close let's take a look at the cues now the qqq um, made a new record high yesterday. There seemed to be a bit of a rotation back out of uh, value plays. Energy and financials struggled yesterday. 
while um, mostly the big tech giants um, maintained um, pretty substantial strength. So um, is are we unraveling the value trade now and running back to tech? I, I can't tell you that, but certainly a strong move here. Now, we have some extra protection here in the NASDAQ at the moment. As you can see, the NASDAQ very stretched away from this price support. So even if we pull back, and that would be a substantial pullback, we're going to hold, possibly hold that price support and hold on to trend. But let's keep in mind that if that were to fail, then we're likely going to break the trend. So just kind of keep an eye on that and watch that closely. There's no evidence at this point that we will break that. Um, as a matter of fact, I would say that recent, ev recent evidence and um, a $1.9 trillion possible uh, stimulus plan would uh, kind of fly in the face of the bears and give those bulls an edge of holding. We'll have to wait and see. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM uh, pulling back. Now yesterday it, it had uh, the weakest performance, kind of putting in a bearish engulfing candle. Um, and we've been talking about how this um, index looks extremely parabolic overall and looks like we're going to follow through to that move this is the pre-market candle right now looks like we're going to follow through to that move and notice right here and if we draw this trend tight to this price action um, that could constitute a failure if we were to extend on down past that that could be a bit of a problem and we saw that unwinding a little bit as the financials and, and energy sector um, started to sell off and i think that's just simply um, a natural course we rallied so much we need a rest or pull back in those areas so keep an eye on this this could be that um, index that leads us a little bit if those bears take over so watch that closely and then also kind of keep in mind that there's really not much support under this entire area here until we pull all the way back into here which would be rather painful so watch that close then if we take a look at the vix and you guys know i uh, i've been um just kind of perplexed by the vix but the good news is is the last couple of days we did actually break down through this little uptrend unfortunately this morning we're probably going to be popping right back up into here and i think the big question is will we rally enough that we will break back above that 50-day moving average now if we break back above that keep in mind that we still have this little downturn right here in play and if we were to break back above that 50 and hold that would be a problem but we're really not going to see um, much fear in the market i don't think unless we break that downtrend right there and maybe hold that as support also keep in mind we've got that 200 day moving average that pulling to back that could provide some resistance in that chart Let's take a look at um, our T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And I've been warning of this for some time to just be careful that we've, we continue to stretch and hold this market to the upside. Just been warning, this has been warning uh, to be careful of that, that we could get that snap, that really quick pullback. This morning, it looks like that could occur. I can't tell you if, if the, the bears will hold enough energy to actually push on through that this morning or if we will quickly get like right in here where we had that sell off and the the bulls just came rushing in to push us straight back up i can't tell you um what will be the case here but we have been warned um over and over and over that we we're stretched and i cautioned heavily yesterday to just watch carefully don't over uh don't over trade don't chase extended stocks because of that possibility. And now we're going to see that gap down this morning, which might be a little bit painful um, if you kind of, if you've overtraded yesterday. So watch that close. Now, 
um, once again, we could move pretty substantially to the downside. Notice that we haven't been down here for a long time. Um, and that certainly could be the case if those bears have sharpened up their teeth and gain a little bit of energy. I don't know that that's going to be the case, but we'll want to pay attention to that if that does occur. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, T2101 to me continued to to show us the problem as we were setting new record highs yesterday in the SPY and the, the NASDAQ. Um, we had volumes declining and we had market breadth um, continuing to pull back. So that is a little bit of a problem here. I suspect if we get some selling coming in, we could actually see that market breadth um, moving up. And that would be just that little bit of uh, bearish energy um, raising that breadth as as we push push through. So it all depends on how strong those bears are and if they're going to have any strength at all. And I can't I certainly don't have any evidence that they would um, have that energy at this point, just that the possibility exists. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is going to be kind of a busy one this morning. We have some market moving reports in here to be made aware of. Before the market, well, excuse me, all of these are after market open. We have PMI flash, existing home sales, and we have uh, the petroleum status report today. Notice that we do have natural gas. I've never ever seen natural gas report ever move the market, but petroleum status report certainly could. And it could help hold up if we see a, a surprise decline in supplies. That could actually bolster the market a little bit this morning. We'll want to pay attention to that. If that bolsters the market, kind of holds that oil sector up, that could help a lot. However, if there's a surprise build in in those supplies then that could um, help to embolden those bears to the downside so we have some things that could move us around we'll want to watch those pretty closely housing has been really strong i would be surprised if anything changes there and that could have that bullish note to it this morning so keep an eye on those reports let's also pay attention to earnings. We have about 22 companies reporting earnings today, but not that many that are uh, very notable today. So let's take a look at those. Um, we have Ali Financial that will be reporting today. Um, um, the you know, right along with all the big banks, the big banks have all reported pretty well, but we've seen a little bit of selling um, after those reports. It's kind of um, it's kind of been a buy the buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event going on in those big banks. But watch that closely as um, Alley Financial reports today. This has been an unbelievable uptrend. Um, take a look at Huntington here. Um, this is going to report today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, this has been also in a very, very strong upside trend, holding support levels. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. It may still come back to this trend even after a report and um, uh, test, but kind of keep an eye on that. That's a very, very bullish chart. Could move, um, could move nicely higher if we get a good report. Um, take a look at KSU, a little more railroad in here. We had some railroads yesterday. Going to have another railroad. Kansas City Southern will be um, reporting today. This has been in a beautiful upside trend. Nice little consolidating move as we're heading into those earnings. So you have a very nice platform where we could really pop up from or if we happen to slip on those earnings, break down and maybe even lose that trend. So watch that one. How about RF? RF is also on the list today. Again, regional banks have just been on a bullish tear moving to the upside. Um, let's keep an eye on that. It looks like um, we're getting in just a little bit of bullish price action in that this morning. And last but not least, and one thing that could uh, provide some direction in that oil sector is uh, Schlumberger will be reporting today and we'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice this morning it's showing a little bit of pullback at the moment. 
can't say that that's a result of the report. It could be just the result of the market selling off right now. But we'll want to watch that. If if that gains a little energy, that could kind of hurt that oil sector as well. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But please keep in mind that a lot of these, all of these stocks are bullish um, bullish ideas and the reason is because the market has been absolutely bullish there's not much out um, out there for shortable patterns um, in charts but let's take a look at some of these and see if we can make something out of them I added some new alerts yesterday and please keep in mind guys that um, Every time I talk about one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, you need to make sure you're doing your own due diligence and following a set of rules. Also, if you guys could do me a quick favor before we look at these, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. If you find these videos to be helpful, also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, it helps us continue to grow. And I just wanna say thanks to everyone. You guys are truly, truly amazing. And I, I, I honestly, I, I, I truly appreciate um, all the support and all the kind words um, for the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's um, take a peek at a couple of these stocks and let's note that AYX, AYX, I put this on a list and I've been keeping an eye on this chart. Now, I can't tell you, this is not a bullish chart um, at this point. You can see we're still testing this downtrend in this chart. Um, however, this this stock has had an interesting past with really good revenues. Um, it's been really hurt by the pandemic. Um, we might want to keep an eye on this, but I placed an alert on this downtrend. I'm going to be watching this for that break of that downtrend, if it can, and then maybe a hold of support for an upside opportunity. But this is one of those, it's a watch list stock, something that you're gonna to wanna to wait and pay attention to later. Um, take a look at NIO. I placed an alert on NIO yesterday. I like this breakthrough up here. Nice breakout, tiny tight consolidation hit in here as we rest and kind of spill off this volatility and slide out here toward trend. I want to be watching that for that opportunity that this might pop on through. So keep an eye and continue to uh, rally here. So keep an eye on NIO as it rests in this area. Very nice looking chart. Um, also placed an alert on J&J. &J. Now J&J um, obviously, they've got their uh, new vaccine and, and things coming um, down the pipeline. You can see we rallied up, we've pulled back, had a little bit of resting in here yesterday. I'm going to be watching. This trend is a beautiful trend, and uh, this breakout is substantial. So if we can continue to hold in this area, I want to be watching for that that bullish action to push up in there, if at all possible. Um, take a look at Kohl's. Now, um, um, retailers had a pretty good day yesterday and you can see Kohl's popping up here just a little bit didn't quite break through um, that resistance high but notice this nice tight consolidation up here above this resistance breakout so watching that closely as long as that holds in this range we could see uh, Kohl's pop on through and there's quite a few of those right now um, Abercrombie doing the same thing trying to break through a resistance level just kind of consolidating over to trend keep a close eye on charts like that they look pretty darn good take a look at fang fang is another one of those charts that's been holding in a beautiful upside trend notice that in this chart i'm going to pull this line down notice in this chart what the reason we're struggling right here is we're testing some resistance in that chart but as we kind of rest and kind of pull back out here toward this trend notice we're getting closer and closer to that opportunity where we could find that energy to pop on through so watch fang um, maybe one for your list um, also i'm keeping an eye on stz stz um, beautiful, beautiful little pullback that's holding trend and popping back up. And I suggested to our Rightway Options members that as we push back up, watch for a little resting in here to occur. And as a matter of fact, any rest in here actually makes this a little bit better trade because we, we sold off so strongly, we kind of need pop back up, hold, prove it again, 
and then um, we can get that energy to the upside. So watch that close. And by the way, that's very, very similar to this pattern right here. Notice how we push up, we kind of hold in here, and then we get that move to the upside. So we may need that little hold and that push to the upside. So watch STZ. Uh, take a look at NKLA. I've been looking at NKLA here recently. Um, actually have a position in NKLA, just kind of a starter position. Today might hurt it with the market pulling back. So watch this closely. Um, nice little upside pattern. This is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout, um, breaking above its 50 day moving average here in this chart and holding in here. And I'd be looking for that upside move that could carry us up to the 200 day moving average. Um, just watching it, waiting to see if we're going to get some bullish price action in here. So pretty good looking chart overall. Um, also, um, I'm keeping an eye on silver and gold. Now, it's kind of interesting to me that we're talking about printing all of this money and silver and gold have not been responding all that bullishly. And this morning they're getting hurt um, by the selling in the market. So let's watch that closely. If we can hold some price support in here, find some buyers off of that area, we may be okay. But um, it would be really disappointing, I think, if we see silver uh, drift down, back down below that support level. And the same thing being in gold. If we take a look at GLD, GLD um, getting punished again this morning in the sell-off, pushing back, which is kind of an odd situation when you think about it. Normally we see gold and silver as that safe haven play. And particularly when the market starts to get a little concerned or worried in a sell-off, they usually um, garner some support, but that's not been the case here recently. So let's keep an eye on those. We don't want to see those really uh, drop off considering the money printing that may be on the way, but let's watch those closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And I, more than importantly, I think I want to wish you all just a fantastic weekend. Um, everyone, let's take a break. Let's decompress from all this political stuff. Let's start being a little bit nicer to each other and start watching these um, price action of these charts a little bit closer. And um, just prepare for another great year of trading. Everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.